and it says, if your father were here now, mm -hmm. scary for a kid to hear that. I've, I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> this girl looks guilty and afraid. But if she has a good father, like David over there, <laughs> he'll help her out and he won't hurt her. <laughs> and we have a heavenly father who is always with us. It's called omnipresence. Yes. He's always there yes. with us. Now, if her father were there, her behavior, I don't know what she did wrong, but apparently she did something wrong. Her behavior might have been different if her father had been there. Because we behave when our parents are around and not so much when they're not around. We can't see them. That's right. <laughs> we can't see them, but God... The God of all creation is always around. Mm -hmm. He's always here. Amen. He's always here. And I have a song I heard not too long ago that, uh, that uh, gives us an idea of, of what it means if the Savior were standing beside us. He's always there. He's the omnipresent God. And uh, this picture shows us, I don't know if you've ever been in trouble when you were a little kid. I was in trouble when I was a little kid. <laughs> Something like this happened to me. God is there on our bad days. Mm -hmm. God doesn't miss a thing. When I was a child, this happened to me. I took some pennies from my, my great aunt's purse, and, and they found, my parents found out, and I had to go apologize. It was awful. But I believe God was there even long before I was saved. God was there helping me to know the right way to go. The Bible says in Proverbs 15.3, God doesn't miss a thing. He's alert to the good and evil alike. Mm -hmm. Amen. God is there all doesn't the time. Doesn't miss a thing. <laughs> God is there when we feel alone. Sometimes we, uh, uh, we, we feel alone. This kid, he's praying all by himself. The other kids are, are, uh, are snickering at him and laughing at him. But he's being brave and he's praying. He's being very brave. Yeah. <laughs> uh, somebody read this Psalms 44. David, want to read Psalms that? Psalms 44, 20 and 21. We did not forget our God. We did not lift our hands in prayer to foreign gods. God would have known if we he knows what is in our hearts. Yes. yes, he does. He knows what is in our hearts. If we're struggling, if we're alone, he knew what was in that boy's heart. He was trying to pray over his lunch and the kids were, were uh, making fun of him. God knows what's in our hearts. God is there when people hurt us. I don't know what the, the, these kids are saying to this young girl, but uh, 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 she looks like she's in pain. God is there when people hurt us. The scripture says in Luke 12, 6 and 7. Shemitri, you want to read that? Uh, yes. What is the prince of five, what is the price of five sparrows? A couple of pennies? Not much more than that, yet God does not forget a single one of them. And he knows the number of hairs on your head. Never fear, you are far, far more valuable to him than a whole flock of sparrows. Amen. When that, when sometimes when we feel like we're just nothing, mm -hmm. we feel like uh, 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 we we have no value whatsoever. We are valuable to God. Yes. God loves us. Here's something for the dog owners. God is there when we think <laughs> no one's looking. <laughs> yep. <laughs> What's this dog's name? Uh, Ginger. 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 You see this? <laughs> Be good, girl. <laughs> Be good. <laughs> Let's see. Who wants to read that? Therese, you want to read this from Hebrews? Uh, Hebrews 4.13. Nothing in all the world can be hidden from God. Oh, boy. Everything is clear and lies open before him. And to him, we must explain the way we have lived. Oh, yeah. The 
his little dog's gonna have to explain it to his <laughs> parents when the, when they when they get home. Praise God. God is also there in our darkest hour. Yes. Uh, uh, many years ago, before I was saved, I was this person. Uh -huh. I uh, fifty years ago, I spent time in jail for selling drugs. It was the lowest point of my life. But soon after that, the love of God came into my life and. Uh, a little church. I got saved in a little church in a town in Northern California, and my life was turned around. The Bible says in Psalm 139, Miss Mac, you want to, can you read that? How can I get away from your spirit? Where can I go to escape from you? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. Yes. If I lie down in the deepest parts of the earth, you are also there. Yes. Amen. 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 We can't run from God, and even when we think we're far from God, He's still there. I thought, I mean, I didn't have any concept of God when I was uh, uh, involved in, a, uh, in, in drugs, but He was there for me mm -hmm. even then. He, uh, 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 he moves in ways that we cannot possibly know. To bring us to a place of repentance to Him. God is there checking out our priorities. I don't know if any one of us are rich enough to have, I think this is a Ferrari. It looks like a little... <laughs> oh, she does, does she? God is there checking our priorities. <laughs> Who wants to read this? Psalm 139, 23, and 24. Okay. <laughs> okay, David. All right, we'll go. In. Okay, David. Okay. Organized. <laughs> God, see what is in my heart. Know what is there. Test me. Know what I'm thinking. See if there's anything in my life you don't like. Help me live in the way that is always right. Yes. yes. Amen. 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 See that, that Psalm 39 just tells us about the omnipotence and omnipresence of God. Mm -hmm. God is there when we're tempted. We've all been in a situation like this. Now, it, I'm not talking about finding a wallet on the ground. I'm talking about finding something that would advantage us, but we knew it was wrong. And uh, uh, it's not about the wallet. It's about the temptation to do something wrong. We think nobody will find out. But remember, God is omnipresent. Mm -hmm. God knows, always there watching us, to see which road we're going to take when we get to the fork in the road called temptation. Mm -hmm. You know, which road are we going to take? Who's next? Who's reading this one? Psalm 9411. That would be pretty good. Okay. The Lord knows what we think. He knows how senseless our reasoning is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. What excuse could we possibly come up for? Maybe we look in the wallet. Oh, maybe if there's no ID in the wallet, mm -hmm. we don't have to try to return it. We don't. Our reasoning is senseless when it stands in light of God's truth mm -hmm. and God's righteousness. God is there when temptation overtakes us. I don't, I don't remember uh, if I've ever cheated in school, but some of us might have. This kid is cheating in school, taking an exam. We can sin at any age, uh, young or old, and we can repent and turn to God at any age as well. doesn't matter. We, we, we can turn to God at a young age. We can turn to God at an old age. David, who was the king of Israel in the Old Testament thousands of years ago, he had his sins exposed by the prophet Nathan. Mm -hmm. Now David was the king of Israel, uh, uh, and he was uh, when he was supposed to be going out to war. He was standing on his roof, and he saw a woman uh, named Bathsheba, and who happened to be uh, 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 married uh, to uh, Uriah the Hittite, and uh, he uh, caused Uriah the Hittite uh, to be killed on the battlefield. With the uh, with the enemies, and then and then ended up having a, a a relationship with his wife. Nathan was told by God all about this, mm -hmm. and uh, here's a scene where Nathan exposes 
David's sin. Now, tell me about this case. There are two men in a nearby city. One rich, the other poor. The rich man has many sheep, many cattle. The poor one has nothing except for one little ewe lamb is raised up since birth, like it was one of his own children. And yet, the rich man has taken up the poor man's one little ewe lamb to slaughter and sell it his own. If there's anyone else to this, the rich man must give the poor man one whole flock, and then he must die. What was the name of this rich man? I want to know so I can see to his punishment personally. You are a dead man. Right, well. What do you mean? God has given you everything. Houses, wives, soldiers, and a great name among the nations. If you needed more from him, you had only to ask. Instead, you used the Ammonite sword to kill Uriah and took his wife. Now the sword will never depart from your house. And God has said, I will raise up evil against you out of your own house. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. At the look on that. Actor's yeah. face. Well. All right. Who wants to read? The, who's Psalm, we're going to read this? Psalm 51, 1 through 4. Shemitri? It's written after Nathan the prophet had come to inform <coughs> David of God's judgment against him because of his adultery with Bathsheba and his murder of Uriah, her husband. O oh, loving and kind God, have mercy, have pity upon me, and take away the awful stain of my transgression. Amen. Yes. I want to point out something about. David's uh, uh, confession here. He was just, we just saw what happened. I mean, my heart would have been gripped with fear. Uh, I mean, here the, the prophet Nathan stands before David. David brings judgment on himself uh, by, uh, uh, by telling Nathan what to do with this supposed story that Nathan's telling him. And then he finds out, David, you are that man. David, uh, uh, he, the one thing that I see that's wonderful about David, even in the midst of his sin, is that he still has a heart toward God. He says, O oh, loving and kind God. This is right after Nathan exposes him. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's still calling God loving and kind. Have mercy, have pity upon me, and take away the awful stain mm -hmm. of my transgressions. And I, I like the, this tra translation because it talks about how sin stains our life. Mm. If you've ever had a stain that didn't come out, it's very, very hard to get a stain out. And sin stains our life. We can't get the stain of sin out of our own lives. Mm -hmm. Only God can. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's praying to God. Here's a man that can't even look himself in the face. Who, who wants to read the next one? Miss Mack? Go ahead. interesting attitude for a person who has just been nailed by God. Mm -hmm. David was nailed by God and yet I don't know what changes he went through emotionally but he says, finally he says you are really the one I have sinned against. Because mm -hmm. when we sin, we sin against God. Mm -hmm. But what usually it? isn't that like whenever you um, whenever you are convicted isn't that the attitude to have? Yes, yes. it is. 
what yes. I know. Yes. Come to. That's what you come to. Yeah. yeah. It, it, oh, Lord. Yeah. Ryan. Amen. Oh, Sometimes it takes us to it takes us a while to come to that place. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, I think it's like that again that fork in the road. Mm -hmm. We can either we've been exposed, something has been exposed in our life. We can either run to God or run away from God. Angry yeah, yeah, exactly. And, you know, I mean, yeah. this is that's why uh, God gives us free will. Here's another situation where God is always there. God is there when we brag. <laughs> this guy is saying, look at me. I'm terrific. And Christians can do that. Oh, yeah. Not only unbelievers. The Bible says, don't let your right hand know what your left hand is doing, which is a kind of an interesting scripture. But I found a great cartoon. <laughs> the left hand is saying to the right hand, hey, what are you doing? The right hand is writing things down. It says, feed the hungry, care for somebody's... Uh, uh, spend time with uh, some some people in a rest home, but the right hand says, "I don't want to talk about it." <laughs> <laughs> don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Let's see whose turn is it. Matthew six one through six. Be especially careful when you are trying to be good, so that you don't make a, big, a performance out of it. It might be good theater, but the <laughs> Okay, there's there's uh, there's the uh, the admonition from Scripture. Uh, uh, the world loves to brag about the good that it does. The world loves to brag about the good that it does, but that's not the way God wants us to behave. He says to in such an extreme way, he says, "Don't even let your right hand know what your left hand is doing." He wants us just to do good. Because, and let God have the glory for it. And let God get we, we seek the glory for it here. Yes. That's, that's the only glory yeah, we get. That's, that's exactly right. right. That's right. You have your reward. You just says. got your reward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if we want the earthly yeah. applause, we get the earthly applause. <laughs> but, but then you're not storing up your <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. God is there in our daily life. Uh -huh. Amen. Therese, why don't you read this from Psalm 139? You know when I go out to work and when I come back home. You know exactly how I live. Lord, even before I speak a word, you know all about it. You are all around me, behind me, and in front of me. You hold me safe in your hand. Yes. He's always there in our daily lives. In the smallest part of our lives, God is is there. We need to remember that he's present. He's just like sitting right there, like in this uh, a picture here. God is there to teach us the right way to think. That's why we need to study his word mm -hmm. and be sensitive to his spirit. He's there to teach us the right way to think. Shemichi, why don't you read this one? Okay. God, see what is in my heart. Know what is there. Test me. Know what I am thinking. Oh, yeah. All right. That's an honest person, an honest Christian asking God, Oh, Lord, just make sure everything that, I, that I'm doing is right. You know, uh, uh, we've, had, we've heard the expression, As God is my witness. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I thought about that the other day, and He is mm -hmm. our witness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> God witnesses everything. everything. The Lord always witnesses everything. Second Chronicles 16.9, I think. Mac. Mrs. Mac. Mac. Amen. Amen. In closing, let's, uh, we just have a, a, a very a pretty song telling us all about our uh, wonderful, omnipresent God. Jesus is speaking to someone close by right now. The Bible says, They said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road? 
while he opened to us the scriptures. That's what happens sometimes when the Lord speaks to our heart. We feel that something gets warm. John Wesley said, the preacher was describing the change which God works in the heart through faith in Christ, and I felt my heart strangely warm. Jesus makes his presence known by a still, small voice. David, you read this scripture? Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come to come in to him. Amen. Amen. What's a sinner's prayer? Sinner's prayer is uh, something we can pray when we're ready to admit uh, that we're sinners and that we need Christ's forgiveness. It has to be prayed in faith with a readiness uh, to have a life-changing experience uh, and encounter with God. I think, how many have had a life-changing encounter with God? Amen. Amen. Now, we can pray this prayer. Uh, <laughs> I learned that um, the conviction, when, when the Lord's conviction comes upon you, it should bring about um, not right. anger, not, yeah. um, yes. not, it should bring about true, not just repentance, but a, but a godly sorrow for the Lord. Yes. yes. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. I remember in, in college, I, um, I mean, back when I took computer programming in the 80s when it was just being birthed. Uh -huh. I I um, hacked into this girl's stuff <laughs> when hacking wasn't even hacking yet. You know? It didn't even have well, an edge. Yeah. You were on the cutting edge of technology. <laughs> well, anyway, the teacher, she found out, uh -huh. you know, um, because I turned it in. Uh -huh. And obviously it was the same. Uh, no, I didn't want my name on her. Right. But anyway, um, he, you know, she went to him and, and he called me and her outside. And, and instead of asking me, you know, getting on to me, he was asking me questions like, how did you do that? Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Like, how is it possible? You know, she got mad okay, before I was saved. And, um,. I um, remember her saying, um, you know, I apologize. Yes. We used to ride to school together, you know, but uh -huh. I remember the pride I had in my heart, wow. the false pride. Yes. Yeah. And the, what you got away with. Huh? Uh, for what you got away with. Yeah, yeah. and that um, she kept saying, but you aren't even remorseful. Uh -huh. So at that time, didn't even know what that meant yeah. until after I accepted Christ in wow. my heart. Wow. And truly didn't know what that meant until after I accepted Christ. Yeah. Exactly. Can't exactly. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? It's good to review when you accepted Christ. Oh, yeah. yeah. And things like this remind me. Yes. Praise yes. God. Praise yeah. God. Return to me the joy uh -huh. of, my of my salvation. salvation. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. What do you want to tell others about Jesus? Anybody? That he's the only way. Absolutely. Absolutely. What if What if you're wrong? I mean, what if I'm wrong? What if I got to lose? Yeah. Nothing. Exactly. I've got nothing but joy yes. in my heart. Yes. What, what if you're wrong? Yeah. You've got eternity to lose. Yeah. That's right. So We're, true. We're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but just to show I know, them, I know, I know, I know. Wrong. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Mac. Oh, how cute! No <laughs> Let's close in prayer. Why don't you close in prayer for us, Mrs. Mac? Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this time. We thank you for each time we are reminded that you are our God yes. and that you are the one that has saved us. Yes, Lord. Our life might really be intentional. Yes. That, that even when we're not thinking about it, maybe only the things that are going to Amen. 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 Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It smells wonderful. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm I'm great. Okay. Anyhow. Uh,
This is Sabra. Sabra, we have Harold and Therese. My Therese. sister. Ah. And this Mac. Hi, Sabra. Hi, Sabra. Hi, Sabra. Hi, Sabra. Hi, Sabra. Hi, Sabra. We're at Grapeland Park. <laughs> We're at Grapeland Park at the Sunshine Tent. <laughs> and, uh, and we're talking salvation. <laughs> if you openly say Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you Amen. will be saved. Romans 10, 9. Amen. Amen. Do you want to tell your story? Amen. Yeah, that's what it's, I'm asking. Okay, my mind is short and simple. I was lost, but now I'm found. I'm blind, but now I see. Thank you, Jesus, Amen. for saving me. And that's short and sweet for, short and sweet for all of us. Thank you, Jesus. But yeah, I, I, we're gonna, Sabra, we're gonna pray for you right now that your that your troubles be few. All right. Oh, okay. Let's. Heavenly Father, let's join together, brothers and sisters, to pray for pray for Sabra, Lord, and the, yes, Lord. the struggles that she's having right now, Lord, and the things that are going on in her life. Lord, we just lift her up to you for your for your for your protection, Lord, for, for your for your heavenly angels, Lord, to come down and, and, and hold her in a place of safety. Thank you, Father, to uh, to provide for her needs, Lord, for for whatever problems she's having, Lord, to, to, to help her to find a solution. Just ask you, Lord, for especially now that she's having car troubles with her car, Lord, we just ask that you provide a way for her Thank you, Lord. to uh, to end these troubles, Lord, so that she can do what the things that she needs to do. And I, I just pray, Lord, that that as we grow in your service, Lord, that this uh, that, 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 that 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 these prayers reach all across our nation and touch touch Sabre's heart, Lord. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.